In this video, I will show you how to save a chart as a PDF file. Here I have a model of a basic pathway that we're going to graph. When I run it, we see that we get this graph. If we want to get this graph out of a spider to use it in a presentation or a paper, we have two options. The first is the simplest option. You can just right click on the image and go copy image or save image as. For this, I'm just going to copy it. That copies it as JPEG. However, the quality is really poor when you copy it as a JPEG. So if you're going to use the image for print, I suggest using the alternate pathway. I will compare the quality of both pathways at the end of this. For the alternate pathway, you need to import matplotlib. And then we want the pyplot library, so we hit dot. When you hit the dot, this scroll bar comes up, and as you start typing, it'll bring them up, and we can scroll through and just select pyplot. We'll do it as PLT to make our lives easier. Next, we'll have to add two lines of code. The first line of code goes inside the plot, and it says show equals false. This holds off on the drawing of the actual graph until after the saving has happened. The last line of code you add is plt.savefig, and then inside the brackets, in str quoted string, you put the file extension and the file name, or not the extension, the file directory and the file name. So on a Mac, it's forward slash users slash my name slash desktop, because I want to save it to the desktop, forward slash, and I'll call it plot x dot pdf, end quote. Now when I run this, it shows up, and if we go to my desktop, we see plot x dot pdf. Here it is. Now that we've seen how to use matplotlib to save the graph as a pdf, I will show you the quality difference between the pdf and the jpeg. So let me copy the jpeg again. Then if I open up Adobe Illustrator, and I paste it, this is our JPEG. So it's pretty small one. I want to make it bigger. You can see that I make it substantially bigger, but reasonable size for a PDF document. Its quality goes way down, and it starts to get very pixelated and almost illegible. So let me show you with the PDF. I'll go command P for place. Then I want to. No. That was wrong. It's command shift P. Let's say plot X. Place it. We can see that as it scales up, everything scales up and quality is maintained. That has to do with the way JPEGs save files versus the way PDFs save files. So now you know how to export the graphs from Spider and use them in a print or web source. One last thing is I recommend saving as a PDF if you're going to print it. Otherwise, a JPEG is totally fine to use. Thanks for watching.